Hey, it's Dave. And so, uh, not at the property. I'm actually in the neighborhood, um, in my house. And um, got a little bit of a different video. Gonna do, uh, gonna look at a uh, piece of equipment I got to help me move these logs. And uh, show uh, putting it together and then give some first thoughts on it. So I ordered it from Northern Tool. Let me turn you around and show you what we got going on here. Hey, that's my shop. And that's where my wife parks her car. So we're gonna put it together over there. And I gotta get it done before she gets back. But so let's look at what we got. It is a strong way, which is a Northern Tool brand, or it's a brand Northern Tool sells. ATV log skidding arch with a winch. So you can see a little bit of it. It's just an aluminum arch with a winch and chain. I have the chains and I care about the chains, but uh, anyway, it allows you to lift the front end of the log. The thing I like, it's got um, a hitch you hook onto your ATV or UTV and you just skid the logs out. So, um, as you know, I got. I don't know. Well, several. Got several logs down I gotta move, and then a couple more I gotta cut and move. So I'm hoping this will do the trick for me. So let me get it open and we'll figure out what we gotta do to put it together. All right, Dave out. All right, well, that's interesting. So it's a bunch of parts. Got some bolts, chain, and it's the way I guess I like most things. There's no directions. <laughs> so I'll just put it together. Um, all right, let me get it laid out and see what kind of tools I need. And then we can go from there. All right, Dave out. All right, so I was able to salvage a picture off the side of the box. So it'll be our directions. It looks like I got enough pieces. And the bolts are alternate between 17 millimeter and 19 millimeter. So let me get at it. Uh, it looks like the first step is to attach these two sides to this um, log brace or log lift. So it looks like they get attached here. finger tight up for now. And then the hitch probably has to go on next. I'm wondering. Pretty sure. I'm supposed to use these shorter ones here. So let me swap them out. This is where directions would help. I'm probably doing this in the wrong order. That's why I say. Now 
Now I'll try the extra long bolts and see what happens. Looks like I'll fit through here. All right, let's put the hitch on there. And it's got, looks like, two, two of these longer bolts, and then it looks like it's gonna use these two, maybe shorter bolts. crazy hips thing on. Let's see what the photo looks like. And okay. Looks like you mount first. Of course I've been wrong about everything so far. So let's see if I get this one right. Bigger bolt in that. Anyway. So I don't want to, I don't want to undo this bar. Just because I don't want to deal with the spring and the latch and all that in case I break some. So I'm going to put this bolt in at the bottom up and tighten it down. I looked, it looks like the strap goes over, so it won't interfere with the strap. It's just going to be kind of goofy. But in a way, it makes sense. You don't want something sticking down here. Maybe I should have done the other one that way too. But too late now.
like that. One bolt. Well, it's good because I got one bolt left. Yep. We're running out. picture so that's good I think the last thing is two wheels I still think it's a good thing to put some trim one all on it all right can I do this my yes I do. see me about being locked and let's put the pin on just to do it all up definitely is going to require or wants down the top of the hole right along here get a little bit better carabiner on it that is not going to last all right, let's do a little walk around. So once I got the hitch figured out, it works. It's a two inch ball. It's a, kind of unusual. Look at this. It's got the serial numbers on it, but it's handwritten. And uh, oh, I turned it around the wrong way for you. Sorry about that. There you go. Now you got it. If I got that right, this is number eight. So I have made a lot of these. Um, it is heavy duty. It's got a thousand pound capacity. I do like the tires. It gives you good clearance, which was important for me. Um, this was an added bonus, not a necessity, but when I choke a log, if I have a winch to help lift it up, that's a bonus. I don't know how much I use that chain. I'll probably use my own choking chains because I'm used to them. Um, but, looks like good solid welds here and here. I mean, everything looks solid and well-constructed. Looks like it'll hook up easily to my, to the mule. So, rolls really well. So it looks like we're off and running. Other than not having directions, which cost me a couple steps. It wasn't too bad to put together. So I think the total time's less than an hour. Um, not bad for an old fat man, old one-eyed fat man, I should say. All right, let me turn you around. Hey, it's Dave. It's a little different video, but important one for me. I'll show you my, I'll show you my junk in the background. I'll show you my tools, it looks cooler. Oh, look at all the tools on the board. Uh, I'll show you my fishing rods. Yeah, that's a cooler look. No, not so much. I like better. I do have golf clubs too. I like to play golf every now and then. It's very expensive though anymore. But um, anyway, so I couldn't move the logs if, um, really effectively. I tried last year moving some with the UTB and it was a real issue. I just, you can't, I couldn't get the front up enough to skid them. 
I was used to my tractor three-point hitch and put a bar on a three-point hitch. It's easy, you know, to lift up logs and skid them. Uh, not having anything to help lift them up makes it hard. Now, the way this thing works, and I should have showed you, but I'll show you out in the, how much it costs. It's like 300 bucks. So, a knife, two sockets, two wrenches. I used a screwdriver to help line up some holes. Um, that was it. It was pretty easy. So, put it out in the field next week, see how it goes. Hopefully it works for me. All right, Dave out. Oh, remember, make kindness your business. Now, Dave out. Oh, one more thing. Thanks for watching. And if you like it, subscribe. Maybe if it, you're just mediocre about it, subscribe. Um, anyway, Dave out.